What up guys, the Delta 016 here and it's my birthday! Woo! Yeah, today, today's date, December the 7th, 2013, and I'm 19 years old. Hoorah! About time as well. <laughs> my god, it, it only feels like yesterday that I was 18. It only feels like yesterday that I turned 18, pretty much. And boy was that a good birthday. So let's see if this one is going to live up to that standard and become the best birthday I've had ever so far. So, uh, like I said in my last video that we were going to do a special gun. It's my number one favourite gun of all time. If I was to go to war and I could pick any gun in the world, living, well, not really living, but real or fake, I would choose the Steyr AUG. Now, I know it doesn't particularly look like it. I had to compensate for the stock because it felt a bit too short and a bit too cramped when I held it, when I held it without that stock. Give me a second. Um, that, oh, my room's a bloody mess, I tell you. Uh, this is an old toy that I had, well, that I have uh, for when I was younger. As you can see, this is a Steyr AUG as well. There was a foregrip, but when I was younger, I didn't know a lot about guns, so I used this um, as a sniper rifle because of the scope, and I would also have it like that for a rocket launcher, so you use the scope and the rockets are in there. I was a kid, I was using my imagination, so don't ask about that. <laughs> um, so there's the basic design of it, and you can see I got pretty close to the size up for it. Um, but this is the A3 model. This model is updated for the Steyr. Uh, the Swarovski scope is not added. It's got a different sight. The barrel is extended as well, and the forend for that matter. So that when you're holding it, and this is going to be a challenge, it's a bullpup. Um, looking down the sights, there we go. Um, there's a magazine there, we got the stock. There is that bit there on the real gun. It's not on my toy but you know and we got the working bolt. It's a bit of a pain because it's on an angle so you catch your finger on the rail system on top. Um, 30 rounds of magazine and it's a beast of a gun. It's so f space age. It was introduced in the 70s. I think it was 1977. So that year we had Star Wars and um, it just the Steyr just looked space age. It was a cool gun. And as I said, if I was to go to war right now, and I could pick any gun in the world to have as my firearm, it would be the Steyr. I wouldn't go for a Kalashnikov. I know they're reliable. I know the AK series are reliable guns. But in terms of looks and design, because it's bullpup, I'd have to go with the Steyr. It's just one of my favorite guns. In fact, it is my favorite gun. Um, it's number one. Number two would be the uh, M16 with grenade launcher because it just looks cool as well. And uh, we got two attachments for this. Un under barrel attachments are not possible except for the foregrip uh, because of the bullpup design. It takes a lot of sticks to make. So we got this, and it's a. It can be either a ACOG scope or a uh, thingamabobby red dot sight. Um, I'll tell you, there we go. Oof! It sounded almost like Keith Lemon. Oosh! <laughs> come on, come on, slide forward, slide forward. Oh well, you just have to clip in there, slide that forward. Oh god, this is going to be a challenge. Why did I? Why didn't I just stop recording? Uh, I tell you, I will do this. Naturally, I don't have to for the other attachment because it fits on easy. And we busted it. <laughs> Oh, God almighty me, God almighty me, God almighty, God almighty, God almighty, oh, wait, no, hey, come on, oh, sorry, this is an interesting video, isn't it, you are seeing me, ah, oh, frick it, uh, actually, I need two hands for this, so I'm just going to stop recording now, okay, we have results, I had to unclip it and put it in, but there's the scope that we have, looking down there, I took the sights off um, that are already on there because the real gun actually does take the sights off. Um, it's not like a case with the M16 where they take the sights off and it won't fire in reality. The real gun can take the sights off. 
Um, so yeah, that's the uh, ACOG or Red Dot site, whichever one you want to call it. Um, it should be easier to get this off. There we go. Because I'm not going to bother with those red connectors. Uh, we just slide them back. The other attachment is the old friend, the EOTech. Hopefully this will go on easier. One can dream though. Sound, every time I say that I sound like the Queen. One can dream and can break it. Oh for God's sake. This seemed like such a good idea at the time. Um, come on. Come on. You will go on. You will go on. I say you will go on. You will go on. Oh come on. <laughs> Uh, right, God, 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 God! <laughs> Come on. Oh. Okay, maybe the, maybe the EOTech wasn't the best of attachments um, to choose. Let's see if I can put it on if, with two hands. Um, you're getting a good view of nothing. Uh, come on. You will go on. Yes, you will. Ah, uh, for God's sake. Oh, come on. I tell you, I need to find some new way of making the EOTech site. Actually, that'll do. That'll do. What I've got going, that'll do. Oof. There we go. It just loosely clips into the bit on the front of the rail. So there we go. Uh, I seriously do need to find a new way of making the EOTech or just not freaking bother with it um but that's it yeah that's pretty much it if i had more connects trust me i would make like the grenade launcher for this uh but the fact it takes up a lot of sticks to make a bullpup um it's not possible um so yeah i will say this though i thought i was one of the only people to make uh connects guns and uh i think i've, I've started Talking to um, another a fellow Kinex armorer, uh, Plankster13, I believe his name is, if I'm thinking off the top of my head. Uh, the link to his channel will be in the description uh, below. Um, his original original models um, were not too good. They were a bit childish, uh, a bit too simple. Um, I was a bit shocked when he said about the LSAT, saying it took him... You know, three hours to make it, um, and you see how simple it is compared to my LSAT. Link in the description below. Um, my LSAT was um, a bit less simple. It was a bit more complex to make, but it took me a fraction of the time. It took me about I don't know five to ten minutes to make my LSAT. Um, that's not including the experimenting. That was building the final gun in total. Uh, I'm not slagging him off. I'm just saying, you know. These were points that were pointed out by a lot of people. Uh, I made the note. I sent him the clips. Um, but we're we're getting on well. We're we're talking. We're discussing it. He's created the CBJ MS. I had a little bit of criticism for that for the uh, foregrip, saying it should have been a bit more angular. But you never know. I might actually make the CBJ MS myself. Um, so. Uh, I mean, he's he suggested to me about Skype. Uh, I might consider it. I might get it. Um, I don't know as of yet because I don't have a webcam. Uh, but we'll see. So yeah, he's one. He's a fellow Kinex Armorer. So that's it for this episode. We have this has been the Steyr AUG A3 with obviously the regular sights, ACOG slash Red Dot sight, EOTech, and foregrip. This has been the Delta 016 on my birthday. Thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for any birthday messages that I didn't get. Only joking. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Keep your head on the swivel.